she she is just so driven and I, I love it like everything she puts her mind to she will accomplish and I just like that I get to be along for that ride I feel so excited I felt nothing but excited that's all it's it's I'm marrying my best friend I haven't been nervous once it's just I've always been a guest so it's it's weird that everyone is here for us this time Sarah, for weeks leading up to this day, I have been asked, are you ready, are you nervous? And I was confused. I haven't been nervous once. I'm so excited to marry you. You're my best friend. I am, a, I am who I am because of you. People often speak about comfort and love as if it is the beginning of the end is that there is nothing more antithetical to the longevity of romance than being comfortable. But I've never understood that sentiment. I've always been an anxious person, and because of that, I spend a lot of time feeling very uncomfortable for no apparent reason. I thought that uncomfortableness was just a core part of me, uh, and that I'd simply have to learn to live with it. I have made it as far as I have made it in my life and career thanks to your help and voice of reason through all of my choices. Whether it's through your insight or your immediate concern to help me calm down from anxiety, regardless of what you are facing, I owe who I am today to you. I would have never guessed that dress you would have picked. Oh my I god, it, it looks amazing. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> it was a sign of the end of our beginning because I don't think that I knew true comfort until I knew what it felt like to be loved by you. And it would be impossible to overstate what a joy that is. I'm so happy that I get to be the one at your side watching you achieve all you are capable of. The joy you've brought to my life is irreplaceable and unexplainable. I also promise to never stop accusing you of forgetting to kiss me goodnight when you come to bed after I've already gone to sleep, because I know you love it when you get to tell me I'm wrong. I promise to always be the first one to say that thing we are both thinking of, because I love the ways your eyes widen in shock and you say, get out of my head. As your old best friend, I want to let you know, in case anyone else hasn't told you, you are exactly the same as I remember. You, you haven't changed at all. You haven't changed a bit. You are still the same man that I knew in college. You're still the same man that can, that can hold the attention of an entire room and captivate any audience. You've given me the literal shirt off your back. You have fallen asleep on my apartment floor because you refuse to oversleep in your own bed and possibly miss your own exam. But most importantly, the time where we thought it was a good idea to memorize an entire textbook the night before an exam. 
<laughs> if there are any takeaways from these stories, it's the power of Sarah's heart as a friend. Her commitment towards any relationship shines in every department. A ride or die that will always stand by your side no matter what. By the power vested in me, by the Universal Life Church, and by the state of Maryland, I now pronounce you husband and wife, and if you really want to, you can kiss. I get excited at every TikTok you want to show me. I love the excitement of trying to do restaurants with you or just going and playing trivia in a bar together. Doing anything with you is an experience I wouldn't trade for anything, and I am ready to continue this journey after today and every day onwards. I promise to pretend like I don't already know that question that you're texting me is a setup for a stupid joke because I love the way you laugh when I get annoyed that I fell for it again. I honestly could not tell you how we happened, but I'm damn glad we did, and I promise to never take a single day with you for granted. I vow to always love you with all my heart and continue to be the best support I can provide to you as you continue your journey through your career. And I vow to kiss you first and then the kitties when I get home from work. I love you, Sarah. It's, it's surreal. It's beautiful. It's better than I could have imagined. Thank you so much once again. Sarah, you bring out the best in him. Uh, you both are made for each other. I'm very excited to see what the future holds for both. Sarah and Dennis, may you never go to bed angry, never let your glass empty, and always keep your hearts full. We love you guys. As an old best friend to the eternal best friend, make sure that Dennis never changes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>